What is there to think about? Pick George. Money, popularity, cool car, you're gonna be a queen, my inner demon was telling me. No, 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 no. George won't make you happy, my inner angel interjected. Look at Mickey, caring, sweet, kind, and penniless loser, the demon laughed. I suddenly noticed that the cab driver was looking back at me with fear. I was talking to myself. Hi, my name is Vicky, and I have a crush on two guys. One of them is rich, and the other one is very poor, and I urgently need to make a choice. About girls like me, they say, she is from another planet, and someone calls me a rebel because I don't care about other people's opinions. They call me a freak because I prefer books to TikTok. I never aspired to a relationship. If a guy suddenly fell for me, I tried to quickly reject him. But this summer, everything changed. On the first day of school, I accidentally stepped on the skirts of a classmate's long dress in the crowd. She twitched and the dress almost fell off. In a panic, I jumped back and ran into the geography teacher. His wig flew off and everyone saw the baldness he had so carefully concealed. I couldn't stay on my feet and fell. Under the squeal of a classmate, the laughter of the children, and the teacher screaming. And then there he was, a tanned guy with a trim body. His clothes were badly worn, but it seemed to make him even cooler and even kind of brutal. The guy picked me up and put me on my feet. Hey, Vicky, you've gotten even prettier over the summer. Mickey? I almost collapsed on the floor again. It's Mickey, loser Mickey, Mickey Mouse, my classmate from a poor family. He might have been a nice guy, but no one was friends with him. He was wildly shy, uptight, and wore some kind of rags. But now there was this incredibly hot macho in front of me and he had friends. Uh, before I could get over the shock of meeting Mickey, another surprise awaited me. It started raining, and everyone rushed inside the school. There was a huge muddy puddle in front of the porch. Unfortunately, my parents made me wear a dress and shoes that day. The crowd wouldn't let me go around the puddle, and the guys in the back were pushing me forward. And then a pale, sophisticated guy in a suit came out of the crowd, took off his jacket, and threw it right in the puddle. He held out his hand to me, and I walked over his jacket. My shoes stayed clean, and I looked at my savior in awe. And then I suddenly realized who it was. George? Well, hello. The guy smiled beamingly. George is the richest guy in school. His family has millions in bank accounts. And before, that donkey wouldn't have helped anyone for nothing. But now, he surprised me. Yes, these are the guys I fell in love with. It was impossible to resist them. When they made us run the cross-country race, and I was already exhausted, Mickey came back, picked me up in his arms, and ran with me. Oh, I just melted in his strong arms. And then a limo pulled up at the finish line and George was kind enough to give me a ride home. Before that though, we stopped at the best restaurant in town. How gorgeous it was. I had only been in such a place in my dreams. And there were a lot of those situations. Mickey impressed me with his masculinity and simplicity. And George impressed me with his sophistication and richness. Mickey used to sing songs with his guitar, standing outside my window. And George would buy me tickets of the VIP box at superstar concerts. Mickey gave me wildflowers and nice little things that he made with his own skillful hands. And George gave me a new iPhone, jewelry, and brand clothes, which for some reason I wasn't wearing. And then there was more. Mickey took me to his countryside house for the weekend. Oh, it was incredibly beautiful. And now I understood how stunted Mickey had become so strong. He worked very hard on the farm. He was on his feet all day. He was always under the sun. We used to walk under the night sky. 
Mickey used to beat local bullies off for me. And in a fight with them, of course, he would come out the winner. And then he would run from a flock of geese because Mickey was scared to death of them. It was only a week after our village adventure and I was on the road again. This time, it was a small town in Spain. George and I went there on his private jet. I had an unforgettable weekend of glamour and pageantry. It wasn't the yacht and the villa that was the most precious thing to me. It was the pictures I was able to take. Uh, And that's how I fell in love with both Mickey and George. Yeah, shame and shame. But I wanted to keep being with both of them at the same time. But the guys let me know it was time to choose. They hinted by putting up a fight. True, George was afraid to fight with Mickey and put his guards up against him. But how do you choose between a good guy and a really good guy? They both told me they loved me. Mickey took me out to the lake to do it, decorated everything with flowers and candles. And George and I went up to the Statue of Liberty. There were planes flying through the night sky. And then it said, I love you, Vixie. Vixie? Okay, at that moment, I couldn't think of such a small mistake. Then George handed me a globe. A globe? That's a strange gift. And I laughed nervously. Baby, I'm giving you the whole world. Just point your finger and you'll be there. That was the moment that stuck in my mind the most vividly. I'm going to have the most amazing pictures from all over the world. Mickey, of course, is very sweet and romantic, but all I can do with him is take pictures of geese and run away from the local bullies every weekend. So I made my choice. I drove up to a luxury mansion. I started my story in a taxi. Babe, what a surprise. Did something happen? George was obviously surprised. I came here to tell you. (sighs) The words stuck in my throat. What if I'm making the wrong choice? Well, but it's too late to back out now. Just say it. I love you. I finally exhaled. Vixie, you made the right choice. He held me tight. I'm Vicky. Yeah, that's what I said. George shrugged and immediately started showering me with gifts. My life had really changed. I introduced my boyfriend to my parents, and they were thrilled because George didn't skimp on gifts for them either. He bought my dad a Mercedes, and he opened her own flower store for my mom. But I felt it was all for a reason. It was like a game between Mickey and George. At the same time, Mickey just ignored me. He wouldn't even say hello to me. What about our walks around the farm, the declarations of love, and the geese? I couldn't believe Mickey would just give up on me like that. I was in so much pain. But it was nothing compared to the pain that lay ahead of me. George and I were sitting on the pier, and it was a romantic dinner. And then Mickey showed up, and my heart sank. For some reason, I wanted him to fight for me. What are you doing here, mouse? George grinned. You know what? I've come to tell the truth, he said. Mickey stepped resolutely towards him. George hesitated for a moment, and then suddenly he pulled out a wad of money. Oh, yeah, right. George grinned and tossed the money at Mickey's feet. You deserve it, even though it's low. I was shocked. I just forgot how to breathe. What's that supposed to mean? My voice sounded like a squeaky siren. It's simple, baby. Mickey sold you out, begging for money in exchange of leaving you alone. What a nightmare! I jumped up from the table and ran away. Mickey yelled something after me, but I didn't want to hear that donkey anymore. George comforted me as much as he could. He took me to the Alps and the Maldives. Also, we made Mickey the Goat's school life a living hell. He was bullied by everybody, but George and I did most of it. And while Mickey was suffering, I was getting ready for my legal age. George had prepared a little gift in advance. He gave me an exclusive Tesla, designed especially for me. Mickey repeatedly tried to talk to me, but George hired guards for me, so that asshole wouldn't try to hurt me. But Mickey turned out to be a hard nut to crack. One day, when we were walking to the school parking lot, a flock of rabid geese attacked the guards. The security guards weren't prepared for that. They darted away. That's when I saw Mickey standing next to the big pickup truck. He was the one who brought the geese. 
Vicky, we've got to talk. He's cheating on you. Why didn't you buy yourself a new car? I grimaced as I looked at the pickup. Not enough money? Well, take it and get out of here. I threw a wad of money in his face, then got in the Tesla and drove away. As soon as the geese scattered, my guards got Mickey. Baby, that was expected. Guy's been poor his whole life. George shrugged when I told him what happened. How could he do it? Money is more important than me? But not for me, Vixie. George kissed my hand. I'm Vicky. Yes, yes, I know. George seemed to be right. After getting the money, Mickey disappeared again. And then I learned something. Mickey's parents' farm was booming, and Mickey himself was starting to get his clothes back on, and he even fixed his truck. I was so disgusted and hurt. It must have been done with George's money, but I got my revenge. Imagine a bulldozer accidentally running over Mickey's pickup truck about 10 times, flattening it to the ground. I mean, it happens. When I turned 18, George took me somewhere in a luxury convertible. It was kind of a big surprise. Naturally, security didn't come with us, and that was a mistake. We were cut off by some rusty minibus. Mickey got out of it. We need to talk, he said sternly. Isn't that too much money you're asking for? George grinned and tossed the guy a couple of packets. Vicky, he's cheating on you. He wants to take advantage of you. What are you talking about? I'll tell her. Go ahead, nobody's gonna believe your nonsense anyway. George waved his hand. Mickey claimed that George was playing a very ugly game with me. It all started three years ago. That was the first time I blew George off, and he remembered it, and he's not used to rejection. Plus, his friends laughed at him. Then George swore that I would be his girlfriend and I'd do whatever he wanted. Mickey tried to warn me, but when George threw money at him, he got confused. He wasn't ready for a setup like that. I wanted to warn you, but the guards wouldn't let me come near you. You expect me to believe that? I looked at George and wondered. His cocky smile indicated that Mickey was right. And then I started to remember. That's right. I didn't care enough to notice his advances. Come on, Vixie. Do you really believe him? I'm Vicky. What difference does it make? Why are you so stubborn? I'm tired of chasing after you. I've got a girlfriend and I'm wasting my time on you. You can't be with that loser. George threw angrily and left him. I, of course, cried tears of resentment. Mickey immediately began to reassure me, and in time we were able to communicate. But a relationship was still out of the question. So you guys, don't lose your head over money and look at the people around you. Do you think I can count on a relationship with Mickey? Write your thoughts in the comments, share the video with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. And subscribe to the channel. And